I sleep when you can play Dom Team Death, the free for all, CTF and sabotage. Man, I play them all from search up to headquarters, down the list of demolition. Objective is speaking to win is my only mission. If I sin, it's not by omission of all. Hey guys, Hardcore Gamer for Life here. Welcome to Zany C4 Adventures on Hard Hat. And shortly you're going to see why I've decided to call this video that. Uh, but basically, I'm going to go ahead and get you started off, set you up. I've got the P90, I've got a free for all going on here, I got rapid fire plus extended mags going on this particular weapon and I'm going for the jump and drop shot to finish off the nice little two piece to start the round and the rest of this is basically not going to be about the gameplay except for the fact that I sound whore the hell out of some people in this particular gameplay and see for them over walls <laughs> but in any case guys uh, I would rather like to talk about my man Sean Hutchinson now, uh, most of you know him as Hutch, if you are a regular on this YouTube gameplay commentary scene. And a lot of you are probably going to be saying, Hardcore, this is ancient news. I mean, it's been weeks ago. Yes, yes, I know. I'm late to the party. Shoot me. But regardless of all that, I'm here to give you my opinion on it. And, you know, if you would like to hear that, stick around. If not, see ya. <laughs> but in any case, guys, uh, for those of you that are deciding to stick around... Here's what I think about this particular situation. First off, I'd like to congratulate Hutch for having the courage to basically take an easy situation and throw it away. And this is not sarcasm. This is not criticism in any fashion. Hutch is very well respected within the YouTube community. One of the most respected, one of the most renowned YouTube gameplay commentators out there. He's been in the scene Ever since pretty much the beginning, I'd say a little over three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, he was one of the founders. I mean, there was Hutch, there was Wings, there was Blame Truth, there was a small handful of others. But basically just this core of gameplay commentators that we know that got started in this gameplay commentary scene. I'm not going to attempt to name them all. I know I'm going to miss a few names regardless if I do. But I've named some of the major players, and uh, you know, for those of you that have been in this community for a while, uh, you're going to know the names of the other ones. Uh, but basically, what I was talking about about Hutch being, you know, give, having the courage to throw away an easy situation, uh, kind of you guys should basically understand what I'm talking about there, especially if you're a gameplay commentator such as myself. A lot of us are looking for that same kind of acclaim, that same kind of respect within the community that Hutch has enjoyed over these years. And, uh, you know, it's kind of tough for us looking at Hutch and watching him just throw this all away because uh, it's what we aspire to, and he's basically got it, and he's tossing it to the side. But like I said, this is in no way a criticism of Hutch. This is actually a compliment to him because he is making a very tough decision, guys. He's basically, you know, obviously... You know, he loved video games, at least when he got started on this thing. You know, he may have gotten burned out on him since. In fact, I mean, it pretty much looks like he has. He basically has even said he's not even going to play any video games for a while. He's even going to take a total break from those. But at the same time, it basically sounds like he will go back to him. So, you know, there is there is still some love there. You can you can kind of feel it. Uh, but there's also the fact of being so just dis disillusioned, so burnt out. On this whole scene uh, that, you know, he just really going forward, yes, he could go in here and he could do the gameplay commentaries. He could do the fairly easy things that it takes uh, to run his channel, to, you know, work for Machinima Respawn as he was. And, uh, you know, he could just say to heck with it and I'm going to basically ride this for as long as I possibly can. And who knows, he may have been able to make it into basically a career that would pay him throughout his entire life uh, had he so chosen but he decided no I'm burnt out on this scene I'm tired of it I want to go do something that's going to excite my passion again I want to go find something that's going to be more fulfilling and I got to say kudos to you Hutch you know I mean if I were in your position do I think I would make the same choice no I really don't uh, but at the same time, that doesn't make your choice any less valid in my eyes. And I want to, as I said, wish you best of luck going forward in whatever it is that you choose to do. And again, thank you for all the entertaining and wonderful videos that you've put on YouTube in the past. And, uh, you know, nothing, no one can take that away from you. You know, you are one of the originators of this community. And regardless of whether you choose to stay in it or not, uh, you know, you're always going to be a part of it at some level. 
So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed these zany C4 adventures on Hard Hat, and hopefully you'll leave me your feedback on what you think about this whole hut situation in the comment section. And a quick aside for those of you that don't know, I am on a weekly podcast named Connection Interruption. My friend, the Jesse Cola, will be streaming it live on Twitch TV this week. Come check it out. Link in the description. Peace out, guys. Keep it on the dial where well, you know that it's hot Cause you know that on my channel I upload a lot of videos Of all different types of varieties Gameplays, mini tasha's live comms, defense and comedy bits Ain't no playlist titled greatest hits, not yet, but you can bet